Welcome back guys, for those of you that don't know me, I'm the chick that made the Heartland video back in 2019 when we went to Alberta. I'll link it here up above. I'm an Australian that's had a dream to move to Canada or on a ranch since 2013. Um, the, the TV show Heartland has really made that dream become a reality because watching it at home a lot, I never ever could just let that dream die and it made me change my dream into a plan and I stuck to it. So back in 2019, my partner and two kids flew from Australia over to Alberta to see whether or not we could hack the cold and we absolutely loved it. Long story short, we sold our farm in Australia and we were about to sort out the visa process and then COVID hit and we had to find a temporary rental on a farm in Western Australia until we could find a job to move to Canada. Six months went by and we finally found the best job ever on Canada's largest cattle ranch. And now we're finally here after all that stress and planning, we finally made it to the ranch. We're sitting in the house and we really wanna show you guys a bit of a tour. The house gives us total Heartland vibes. It has a Heartland fireplace. It has a Heartland sort of style kitchen, with the wood, as well as the bathroom. It wasn't planned this way. It just happened to be. Maybe it was fate, who knows, but it's amazing. Before I give you guys a bit of a house tour, I do need to give the house a little bit of a clean. This morning, I've decided to make pancakes for my little family. So Connor's going to take you guys for a little walk. He's taking the dogs and the kids down to the broodmare paddock to have a look at the little, little foals every or every couple of days a new foals born. So they want to go and check that out. And I thought I'd show you guys a little glimpse into that side of ranch life. And then I'll see you guys back here soon once the house is clean. You check your phone You're so connected You're so long All right guys, I finished cleaning the house while jamming to my Spotify playlist, which I absolutely love. A lot of you asked me about my playlist on Instagram. My hair's in the way. Um, on Instagram, so I'll link it below if you want to follow along. Also, in the video, I'm assuming I'm going to get a lot of people asking where I got certain items of furniture or just decorations or whatever. So I'm going to link below in the description where I got everything from rather than say it throughout the whole video. If I can't find the exact shop that I got it from or I can't remember, I'll link something on Amazon that is very similar. I will let you know that I, if I link it on Amazon, I will make a very minuscule profit from it. Um, so if you want to support my little channel and you want to buy that item, please buy it from the link that I link below. <laughs> Too many links in that sentence. And um, yeah, it will help support our little channel. All right, so let's get into this house tour and then we might take you guys for a bit of a walk around the ranch and show you guys a little bit of the scenery outside. All right, guys, here's the table that I was going on about in my YouTube video and Instagram. It's from Ikea absolutely love it it's very ranch vibes to me um, i like that i can fold down this end part make it smaller the other end you can do this as well so it's huge you can fit loads of people on it i bought this vase as well as well as this little i can't remember what you call this what are these called they're they're from canada pussy willows or something i think that's what it's called but we picked that one bought some nice leather coasters and check out that view outside. Actually, I'll take you a little closer to the window. Look at that view. It's so beautiful to sit down and have dinner or breakfast, lunch at that table. We ended up opting to buy one of these water containers because the water here is a little bit like, sort of has a rusty taste. Um, so we just decided to get one of these. And the cool thing about it is you can do hot water and cold. So we didn't have one of these in Australia. We also cut back on plastic because we can reuse these. So every week I take these into a supermarket and refill the water. So coming across from the dining table is our kitchen. This is the kitchen that really reminds me of Heartland. It's very, it's got that wooden look, little old, old style. Here are a few decorations I brought with me from Australia. The top one was my mum's, it's a little kettle hen kettle 
And then this is my beautiful paint horse, which I got given to me as a gift when I was a teacher, but unfortunately it's tail snapped off. So I need to glue it back on. And then this one my mom gave me, which I absolutely love. So as you can see, there's loads and loads of storage in here. We were lucky because we're on the ranch for work. We were given a fridge to use while we're here, as well as the dishwasher. And there's just loads and loads of storage in here. I'm finally getting used to having the coffee pot. We're used to just using a kettle in Australia. And I opted for black and silver appliances in the kitchen, as you can see. So it's all wooden, black, silver sort of appliances and utensils. We have a really, really cool um, <laughs> microwave. I just wanted a black microwave. I didn't realize it did all these fancy sounds and stuff it's really cool and then it sings a song once it's finished but yeah like i said loads and loads of storage in here and i'll probably insert a little picture of the heartland kitchen because it's very similar i think it actually might have the same color top as this i'll have to check when i insert the picture but the view outside is stunning look at this there's the entrance to the ranch there there's our dog wolf so pretty. Now, if you've watched our most recent videos, one of the last two videos, I mentioned that we bought a sofa, two sofas, leather ones, to match well with the little Heartland, fire, not little, big Heartland fireplace we've got in here. Unfortunately, it is taking a long time due to COVID for it to be shipped to us, and it's really frustrating. So we've been fortunate that the Cowboys bunkhouse had a couch in it and they weren't using it. So we're borrowing that at the moment. It's not our style, but it does for now. And yeah, I'll just show you. This is the couch that we're borrowing off the Cowboys. I have finally bought this blanket. I don't know if you guys remember, probably not unless you're OG subscribers on my channel, but in 2019, I really, really wanted to buy um, a rug very, very similar to this with the buffalo on it, um, but I didn't want to bring it all the way back when we moved. So I finally bought this one from Boot Barn online and I love it. I think it was $60, I'll link it below. Guys, here is our coffee table that I showed you in one of the last vlogs when we were buying it from Homesteaders Furniture. It is real wood, it's upcycled. It's really good quality. It's not flat pack. It comes fully built and it's so nice. We also opted for the matching TV unit. Has lots of storage. We keep the kids puzzles and things like that inside our electronics, phone chargers, um, DVDs. Actually, I've got my Heartland DVDs in here that I brought with me. Heartland and McLeod's Daughters, as well as Buck Brenneman and Keeping Up with the Kaimanoas which is the Wilson sisters. So if you're into horse riding, check these sisters out. They're from New Zealand. Oh God, I sounded New Zealand then, didn't I, Kiwi? Um, oh, that's, that's a note on there from a friend that borrowed it, but that's their signatures called the um, Wilson sisters. So check them out. They train wild Kaimanawas, which is the New Zealand wild horses. R worth, a, worth a watch, those girls. They also have videos, oh, not videos, books. So here's the view from our lounge room, looking out from the couch. There's our truck. And now we'll move on to the Heartland style fireplace. How cool is that? It even has shelves on it to put pictures and all of that. I actually haven't put my pictures in it yet. I was meant to get them developed yesterday and didn't. But how cool is it? It's not as neat. I would like it a lot neater like the Heartland one, but considering our whole move was not based off Heartland, but it kept us pursuing our dream. And then we get here and go to a ranch and we actually get a fireplace that looks like the Heartland ranch fireplace. Very cool. Um, it's a wooden one, it's not gas. You actually put your firewood and everything in there. And this is here to protect the wood from falling out and any embers getting in here to burn the rug, which is my favorite rug ever. Big cowhide rug. I'll link where I got that below. And then over in this corner is the kids' toys. We haven't got any storage for that yet, really. Just a few little storage bins 
down there and then some of our workout things like our yoga mats and our resistant bands in the corner. And then this is the view from this side of the lounge room. So cool. So the plan with us getting the two leather couches, they're two seat, no three seater, two three seater leather couches was to have one coming across here and then one going across this way. So it sort of blocks off this area. Actually, I'll swing the, um, the camera around and show you it'll be easier. Okay, so we plan on having one couch coming across here. So it's going that way and then one across this way. Then having the TV in that corner and then it will block off this area so the kids can play and it sort of hides a bit of the mess. And then that beautiful cowhide rug that I love will go underneath this coffee table which will be sort of centered here. But we just need to wait until it gets delivered unfortunately. All right, now for the laundry. I just bought this laundry basket. How cool is it? I really like it. Took me ages to find one that I wanted. Uh, we've got storage in here. I've got my Akubras up the top there, which is an Aussie cowboy cowgirl hats. They actually sell them here. I bought mine for 165 Australian dollars and I saw them in a shop in Vancouver for $360. So, so stoked I brought mine with me. We got the washer and the dryer as part of our work or Connor's work agreement is sort of like a thing in Canada you seem to when you rent somewhere you sometimes get white goods with it we need to buy ourselves a shoe stand desperately because they're just all scattered everywhere through here is the dogs area which I'm absolutely loving having an area just for them they come in here when it's cold outside and they sleep in here at night I showed you guys their dog beds last time in the last video about us moving them abroad. We're also using this room as a storage room. We have got all of our stuff from Costco in here. We've even got wild bird seed. We've been feeding the wild birds. The kids made um, little bird uh, feeders, which I'll show you guys outside. We also keep Harley's medicine in here. She has a thyroid condition as well as arthritis. So we keep all that in here as well as just storage, food, luggage. And then we went to Costco and bought ourselves a big freezer to keep all of our extra stuff in. Saves us doing the long trip to town because for us to drive to do groceries, it's over an hour one way. And then back through the laundry, in here is the other bathroom, which we call the kids' bathroom. It's very cute, clean, small. It's got a bath in here. We still need to put a um, shower rack up there, so we just use it for the kids for their baths. It's got a little toilet down there. And my cute little soap dispenser. So here is Tilly's bedroom. It is definitely not finished and she has now moved the books. I stacked these up all neatly for the video. Um, I bought her this, or we bought her this uh, deer rug. It's really cute, deer hide rug. And then we have got all her <laughs> clothes all over the floor in neat piles because we haven't bought any of our drawers yet. We're still settling in. So they're all stacked down there and then she's got a few items in her wardrobe. This is Tilly's bed from Ikea. She had the exact same one in Australia. We didn't bring it with us. We bought another one when we got to Ikea in Vancouver. And then her theme in her bedroom is supposed to be woodland theme, but we can't find a duvet or a doona cover that suits or is not too overly expensive. I've seen a few on Wayfair, but they were like, $260 for a doona cover and I was just no so I'm <laughs> they've just got the plain du duvet at the moment and I need to find a cover and then she's got a few cute little woodland animals on her bed oh and this is her fancy side table <laughs> it's the coffee machine box because we haven't got out to buy any of the furniture yet because we've just been too busy trying to make up our home or our house into a home with just buying food and doing trips to town constantly. That's sort of the last thing from our mind, buying drawers and side tables. Okay, I'm now in the bathroom. I skipped Riley's room because he's currently having a nap. 
Um, and I've got to be somewhat quiet because he's just on the other side of this door. So I'll show you guys the bathroom now. I really love it. Some of you might not like the wood paneling. I absolutely adore it. Here, I'll just show you guys. Okay, so here it is. The wooden paneling gives me total Heartland vibes. Also gives me a sort of Nordic vibe, but I absolutely love it. It is a little strange that the toilet is in here with nothing else. It's just by itself, but that's okay. We need to put a um, toilet roll holder on the wall still. It all just got new floorboards put into the house and renovated. So we haven't done that part yet. It's got loads of storage for towels and everything. I absolutely adore, I know I keep saying adore and I keep saying cute and I keep saying love, but I really do love this um, shower curtain. I bought it from Bed Bath & Beyond, but it was on clearance. So I'll link something similar in the description below. We opted for white towels, which was a little bit of a silly decision because the washing machine seems to leave marks on everything. So if I was go back again, I'd go a different color. Um, we also got matching towels to the um, bath mat down here. Um, I bought one of these makeup mirrors, which I need to get Connor to put on for me because I'm not sure where we're going to put it either. I don't think we're putting it on here because obviously it will chip the mirror, but. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's actually a woodpecker outside the window. <laughs> anyway, I need to put this mirror up on here and it's got the um, extender on here. Um, I bought, I opted for black like I did in the kitchen because I just, I like the way it contrasts against the wood and everything. So I bought black for the toothbrush holder as well as the soap dispenser. And then yeah, everything is very neutral. Whites, creams, blacks, wood sort of style. So our bedroom has this real stylish looking TV unit. Will that woodpecker stop? Where is it? Can you guys hear it? It's banging somewhere. Okay, I'm just gonna have to talk over it. Anyway, so our, <laughs> anyway, with a TV unit, we didn't know if we could fit it into this room because we hadn't been in here and we opted for a king bed. So we didn't know if we were going to mount the TV to a wall or not. So we're using the box that our coffee table came in at the moment for that until we get a TV unit. The bed, that's another dilemma. That was also ordered through Jag Furniture, which is where the couches uh, have been ordered from. And that is also, sort of taking a long time to come. So we bought a nice wooden bed, very ranch style. Um, and yeah, it just hasn't come. That woodpecker is trying to compete over me. I have a random bear on my bed because I bought it for the kids and they're terrified of it. So I don't really know what to do with it. I'll either give it to one of the kids on the ranch maybe, or I don't know, I'll keep him, he's kind of cute. And then we have a walk-in robe which is really awesome. I've never had a walk-in robe. I take up probably three quarters of it up there and across there and then Connor's got this section. <laughs> um, and then we need to buy our drawers for our bedroom and we're going to pop those in there for more storage. I've decided I'm gonna go out and try and look for this um, woodpecker. That is the whole tour of the house. I will show you guys outside, but let's go look for this woodpecker. Oh, there it is. It just flew off. I don't know whether I caught it on camera. It's up there, little bugger. Oh, it's flying off. It's gone. Wonder where it was hitting. Somewhere up there. So yeah, this is our yard. It's got a little dog hut there, but the dogs don't use it. They sleep inside. We just had the ranch kids come and they wanted to make some extra money. So they mowed the lawn for us, which is really nice with the ride on mower. Huge trees. The dogs are loving it. Hey puppies. We've put a um, a picnic table that we got for the kids up here. So they have lunch out here on the weekend. These are some rocks they found in that last video when we were in 
on the beach, the lake. The dogs have their crates out here. We use these in the back of the ute, but while we're not going anywhere with them, we put them out here in case they want a little bit of protection from the wind, but they don't want to come inside. Hey, Harley, talking about you. Yes. <laughs> the ranch also supplied us a barbecue, which is really good. So we've been using that and we might do a video next week. I'm not sure, but of us out here having a bit of a barbecue, have some s'mores and go on a little adventure. I have no idea what I'm doing for next week's video. Hey Wolf, for those of you new here, this is Wolf. Hey buddy. Hey. They came all the way from Australia in a big plane to come live with us, didn't you? At the back of our yard, we've got this huge, what I would call a very tiny little bunkhouse, but it is actually a cubby for the kids. It is <laughs> amazing. It's got an upstairs, a downstairs, uh, one window inside is smashed, but and it definitely needs fixing up, but very cool. Look in here. I always joke to my dad when I ring him and say, oh, you could always live in here when he comes visits. I would never do that. He'd be in the house, but it's got steps up there. Very cool. That's the window that's smashed here. Looks out onto the horse paddock. And here's some deer antler, which was cool to show the kids. It was just in our backyard, but I'm assuming someone found it and left it in our yard. And then that's the horse paddock at the back of our property, the back of our yard. So I inquired whether or not I can keep a horse here, buy a horse and what I have to do with paying for a paddock and everything and I've been told that I am allowed to use one of the cowboy horses that have been turned out. Um, I can keep the horse in this paddock over here for free, have the horse for free, keep the horse for free so no boarding costs or anything and I get free hay I'm pretty sure. But we're still not sure whether we want to do that. I think I'd rather buy my own horse. I'm allowed to do that. Just have to get, make sure it's vaccinated and had Coggins test and all of that. Yeah, we've just moved here and I just want to concentrate on getting our life set up. You know, buy drawers for the house and get everything set up in the house and then think about looking at horses. We want to do a little bit of travelling around BC as well beforehand and... When I buy a horse, I want it to be a forever horse, get back into riding again. And I did ride recently. I chuck a photo up here of my neighbor's horse. That was fun, just in a paddock for five, 10 minutes, but definitely want to get back in the saddle. So here's those little bird feeders the kids made. I need to put some more feed in there, but the wild birds love it. And the wild birds aren't shy at all. They come right up to us, I think. Oh, there's a photo of me, actually. I'm holding one after it hit a window. I um, looked after it for a little bit and then, um, yeah, it stayed with us. It hit this window here and, yeah, I'll put a picture up and a video, actually. I'll insert the video because it stayed right with us. It flew onto this this step here and then landed on my hand and it didn't fly off straight away, which is really cool. All right, guys, I have had lunch and we're going to go out for a little walk now, but the weather's looking a little iffy. Hey, Connor, do you want to say hi on the vlog? Hi on the vlog. So hello. <laughs> I'm joking on the knob. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go for a walk. Oh. Kissing you is resting. I've had a lifetime is a yes and not a maybe. A promise not. Alright, so we're just down at the broodmare paddock where Connor walked this morning with the kids and I've just come down to check out. Looks like all these five have had their babies. Um, there was 13 mares in here, but the cowboys moved a few of them to another paddock the other day. I think looks like they moved the ones that hadn't fold yet to another paddock, I'm guessing, to keep a close eye on those. Yeah, it's really pretty here. The other day, um, I took the kids to school and the paddock just across where you know how in the backyard I've got the yard and then the horse paddock across the road from there there were three bears there was a mama bear and two cubs it was the first bears we've ever seen and I didn't take my good camera so I've I'll insert a bit of footage here now but it's on my phone and I had to zoom right in looks like they were really far away on the camera but it wasn't it was only a couple hundred meters away I also wanted to jump on here and say a huge thank you to everyone that has subscribed to our channel watched our videos liked them commented because because of you guys I have 
made enough money on YouTube, which is huge, to buy myself a brand new zoom lens for my camera. So I'm going to be starting up wildlife photography, which I'm really, really excited about. And it's all thanks to you guys. Um, it's an expensive lens and a lot of hard work's gone into my videos. I mean, if I got paid by the hour, I'd have a lot more money than this lens. But I do all this to help you guys out and show you a bit of our life. And yeah, I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for doing that. And I can't wait to see when my lens comes, how close I can zoom up to wildlife because as you just saw, I zoomed up to the horses out here and I've only got a, what is it, a 12 to 60 mil lens and I've ordered a 100 to 400 mil lens. So really excited. There's a post office here on the ranch and we're about to walk over there and see if it's been delivered. If not, I think it will be coming tomorrow. So fingers crossed it's there and then I can do a comparison. So we were just walking up to go back over to the post office and Connor, like the church is just there and Connor's noticed that the bears are back. And I still don't have my lens yet, I haven't gone and checked. So I'll see if I can zoom in with this, but it's just, where are they Connor? Uh, no, oh yeah, I see them. I think, I'll use Carly's lead, I think they're about here, but I'll zoom in. All right, I've just chucked Harley on the lead, just in case Connor's putting wolf on the lead. They're not grizzly bears, they're black bears. Apparently not as scary. We've done a bit of research into it. However, we do need to get bear spray, but these bears are very far away. They've got lots of uh, food in there. There's a big river, so we're not too worried about them being hungry and attacking us or anything like that. Alright, it's very windy. I couldn't zoom in with my 60mm lens, so I'm going to go over to the post office here, see whether my new lens has come in, thanks to you guys, and hopefully we'll be able to see the bear. Of course the kids are hitting each other right now and causing a riot, right when we're trying to see the bears and trying to take it all in. But that's parent life, isn't it? vlog is all over the place. I was hoping to have my lens delivered by now but with COVID and even though I ordered it express post it hasn't come yet so unfortunately <laughs> I won't be able to show you it. Hopefully in the next video I can show you a bit of a comparison of using my old lens to the, having a new one. Bye. Shh. Trying to end a vlog here. Also thought I'd add that um, during the week we went out with Connor on the tractor. Um, well, I've been on tractors many times, but uh, the kids haven't really been on one much. So they wanted to go out and just see their dad. And yeah, I'll insert a bit of B-roll in here. Yeah. So it's currently a Saturday and Connor works Saturday. So obviously the kids aren't at school, Tilly's not at school. So we've come down so then Tilly can have a little ride in the tractor. Riley was all amped to come out in the tractor. He's such a tractor man, but when it comes to actually getting in a tractor, he's terrified. He's more than happy to go up to the bull paddock and check them out. So I think he's a bit like his mama and prefers the stock side of farming and is a bit of a cowboy. Hey, Riley, you a cowboy? Hello. Are you a cowboy? Show us your cowboy boots. He's too shy at the moment, but there's his little cowboy boots we got him. They're so cute. I love that colour. Are you sure? No. You don't want to go on the tractor? No. What about if mummy sits with you? You know, mummy used to drive those tractors. It was even bigger. A big 70 foot cedar bar. Didn't I? Yeah. Do you want to come in? Yeah. Mummy will come with you. You like going in the truck? All right, we're just uh, leaving the paddock that Connor was in with the tractor, and we're just at the bull paddock, and they're having a bit of a fight. So I thought I'd show you guys on here. A lot of you that follow me probably are country folk, and are just like, yeah, so what? But other people aren't, so I just thought I'd show you guys the bull paddock. Never wish a hurtful thing upon you Even after what you did to us
And your new boyfriend gets over you like you did me Hope lead in the dust Don't blame me I'd never wish another man to harm you Anyway Ending the vlog, like I just said. So if you'd like to subscribe, please do so. We do plan on buying our own ranch down the track in Alberta once we've been here probably two years and done our visa time. And I mean, we absolutely love it here, but it was never a full-time long goal to work on the ranch. We want to own our own eventually. So yeah, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.